When the hell did I get so lucky to get myself a bird like that? We're in Germany and we're just about to head off to Cologne to go and see Photokina 2010. We spent 12 hours getting her yesterday and there's a stray dog. Hello! Hello, you little flea-ridden thing. What are you doing and why have you just walked off the road? Roof! I will call you Boris. You're quite scared. Boris is scared, Bev. <laughs> Even the dogs look German over here. Right, bye-bye, mate. We're off to Cologne. See ya! Whoa, got to remember to drive on the left-hand side of the road over here. What am I on about? I mean, right-hand side. The ETAP hotel we stayed at is about 20 minutes north of Cologne. We're just heading down to Photokinen now, which we haven't got an address for, so we're going to have to find it. Oh, German traffic's like having VD. The pain goes on forever. Woohoo! We made it to and We had to pay for eight euros for parking, then get a shuttle bus. Let's go and check it out. Who's a little bit excited? Yeah. <laughs> Here's my ticket. Yay. Oh, awesome. We get little ticket holders. This building and location is really quite impressive. It's a bit like the BIC in England. Babe, we're at the entrance, right? The mission is get as much free stuff as we can. This is overwhelming. There's photos and photo stuff and photo products everywhere. This first room that we're in is completely dedicated to photo printing. It's amazing. There must be a hundred different stalls here, each with ten different types of paper. Options on frames, on mounting, on printing, on ways of printing, styles book production, gimmick production, album production, professional photo printing. Woo! Just for example, these people specialise in wedding photography and wedding photography albums, see? <laughs> we found ourselves in one of them photo booths. Please pose like a model. Woo! Rubbish. Please choose the <laughs> oh, wow, it's printing out our stupid photos. What do you think, babe? I think it's crap. <laughs> Enough of this printing nonsense, just for now anyway. I want to find where the cameras are. Across the way, and here's all the camera stuff. Oh my god! There's a little place here with fun cameras. Oh, I want free stuff. Yeah. I could pick myself up a brand new Qatar camera bag while I'm here. This is especially for Charlie Brown backdrops for you. <laughs> Which one are you going to get? One of these. There's tripod makes and bag brands I've never even heard of before here. Just for example, this is just one stall of lighting equipment. There's another. There's another one. There's another one. There's a talk being given over here by some guy in a cowboy hat. Stephanie, how are we doing? I'm going to try and give you an idea of the vast expanse of how big this is. We're looking down the aisle in just the lighting room. There's three of these huge, massive factory warehouses. New reflector, anyone? Yeah. Duncan, who lives with us, does video and film. If he saw this crane, he'd wet himself. Well, what are these things? They're like bubble bags. These are the strangest looking bags I've ever seen. We've only been here an hour and I've already seen my first naked girl over there, see? It's odd how there's only men taking photos of her. Right, I found the tripod that I want. I want this tripod right here. Look at it, it's all mechanical. It's got a camera on the end of it, and it's got a swivel board here for product photography. I've got no idea who's doing the movement here. Wow. And here's another one. It's completely mechanical controlled. You don't have to touch it. It does all the spinning for you. We're at a store at the moment called Leaf, which has got 80 megapixel digital backs for cameras. They've got phase one cameras here as well. Look how much you can zoom in on these photos. That's incredible. Bev now understands why I want to sell my Canon. You see that? 80 megapixel of high quality. What do you want me to look at? It's not fair to go looking for imperfections on this girl's face just because you can zoom in. Yeah, I agree, that's a very distinct tash. Bev's trying out a really cool new camera strap. Have a snipe. Time to stop for a bite to eat, yeah? Potato gratin and gnocchi. And after I've eaten, I've got more energy with the head of the camera stuff. Canon, Nikon, Sony, Fuji. Ah! That's not disgusting. Yes, that was disgusting. 
I'm packed full after that. Now we're going to go up and see all the camera stuff. Oh my goodness gracious me, we're here. We're in a room at the moment completely dedicated to Sony imaging products. I want to touch everything. Ben's gone and found herself some underwater cameras. Have a look at this Sony down here. It looks just like a normal camera with no casing on it and it's actually underwater filming. And don't ask me why they've got anal beads in the tank with it. I'm still here at the moment in 3D wearing these 3D glasses, I'll show you. You obviously won't be able to see what I can, but my hand's actually coming out the screen here. This is the best 3D stuff I've seen, better than that Sony crap. Now we both look like tits. I wish you could see this. That is so deep. That is so weird. And this is the size of the camera, it's got two lenses, look. That was proper awesome, a 3D video camera that I can upload direct to YouTube for 200 euros, including the glasses. Tamrak is the tackiest camera bags with the tackiest advertising. What's this prick doing? You've got to see the size of the plate on the back of this camera. Oh my God. Just have a look at that. Some people don't even take pictures as big as that plate. Look at it. Wow. That large format camera has literally made my bollocks tingle. These Ricoh cameras here have APS-C size centers and they don't have any mirrors inside them and there's no need for sensor dust cleaning anymore. Every single lens comes with a sensor built in and you plug that into the camera, how clever. Apparently cameras without mirrors is the way forward. Can we get this table for the house? Microsoft have been doing something like this, haven't they? This is Kodak product. There is no way a day is enough time to look around this whole place. We have really underestimated the size. We are in a room with every single Samsung product on the market to do with photography. Samsung has underwater cameras too, they're amazing, they look just like normal cameras, they're tiny. <laughs> no baby, can't take it home, it's a little bit too big for a rucksack. I would very much like a TV like that. We're at the Rolly stand, all these medium format cameras, oh! We've just entered the call, this is the Lomography stand. You all know what Lomo film is, don't you? The whole stand is full of photos. Look at all the different plasticky cameras. Plastic is just simply fantastic. This is brilliant. They've got loads of posters advertising film and why it's better than digital. Film and paper in short. Originality, authenticity and eternity. It's so cool here. They're so anti-digital. What a great view you get up here. Everyone's got a camera apart from us. We should have brought ours in. This is a great day out for photographers, isn't it? The best day out, actually. Lomography wins the prize for coolest stand. Charlie Brown, Anthony David Vaughan, look what you guys missed out on. Linhoff do more large format cameras, we're going to get into this big time next year. Holy Jason Donovan, look at the size of it. That camera right there, that is my dream camera. Not that one in particular, just that type of camera. Oh, this is a headache. Oh, look, it's the crumpler stand, bags for photographers who think they're surfers. If you think you're a surfer, babe, get a crumpler bag then. Fujifilm are really pushing the Instax range. And for those of you who don't know, Instax is immediate photography like Polaroid. Fuji are also offering free 3D photos. It's another one of these cameras with two lenses again. It's like old technology reinvented. This is the Fuji FinePix X100. It's one of the stars of the show. It looks and feels like a film camera. It's got an APS digital sensor in it, a 28mm prime lens. There's a certain buzz around it. Look at all these people wear. I'd actually like one. It'd be great for the pocket. This lady just told me they're not going to be on sale yet for another six months. We're here now at the Sigma stand, which has just unveiled a 46 megapixel camera, which looks like any other camera. But what baffles me is it's got a round sensor, it seems. So there's a square one inside of it. It only looks APS-C size. And if that is the case, and going on previous Sigma products, it's probably pretty tacky. You're resting in the Sigma lounge? Yes. This place is absolutely astronomical. Let me just get this straight with you. For every one thing I've shown you that I think is cool, there's another 10 things. I just haven't got the space or the time to record it all. For any photographer, whatever type of photography you're into, this is heaven. We're now on a whole floor dedicated to making books. <laughs> look at the size of it. Just look at the frigging size of it. What's the biggest print you've ever seen? Is it this one? This one? This one? This one? <laughs> We found a store that does 3D photos, but not any normal type of 3D photos. Have a look at this. So it's a product called ScanMen. Have a look. Yes. And it takes photos that are 3D it's like 3D this. Photos. 
any object. So the printer actually prints in 3D like that model yes. we just saw? Yes, it actually prints in 3D data. So oh. usually there'd be two scanners. We're going to take a photo of Bev now. Okay. Oh, so that's similar to the uh, crystal stuff we had done. So there's Bev in 3D. Can you spin that in any way? Yeah. Oh, I see. Very similar to the crystal work that's yeah. done. So this camera and this software takes the colour as well as the texture. Can you spin yes. it again? Wow. And not only do we have the large format ones that could do people's heads and stuff, we've got small ones that could do models. Here, look, it's on a cannon. So the future of photography really is evolving using old technology. I have got to get me one of them. Only need 7,000 euros, though. Look, no hands, new type of camera bag. Ooh, camera strap. It's really cool. Ooh. Excuse me, can you turn this ring flash on again? <laughs> So with this massive ring flash, there's no need for a flash anymore. It's all just done by LEDs. So it's set to ISO 200 and we are at 100 for the second and still getting nice light on it. And that was on a much smaller ring flash, not that massive one there, which I expect would be much better. We're just having a look at this Steadicam for the iPhone. I want one. <laughs> I've just been invited to put one on there so I can shoot some material. So what happens is I put my phone on top of this and it gets rid of inertia. Is that inertia movement? Right, I'm on the steady cam at the moment. Let's see how this works. I'm spinning it. The downside to this is walking around, you look like a bit of a prick. But still, it is a real iPhone steady cam. Nice one, thanks for showing us. I've just seen naked girl number two of the show. I love watching all the men taking photos of her. Yeah, go on, get that professional photo. Look at the crowd of men with long lenses focusing on the girl with big breasts. I've lost Bev, she's wandered off unimpressed. Don't wander off again, please. Why are you looking at naked girls? Yep, told you, she's annoyed, her breasts aren't painted too. This is something called Matrix 360 degrees and it's absolutely awesome. Wow, we can get ones of ourselves in the Matrix. I want to have a go. Damn it, there's a really massive queue. I really wanted to be in the Matrix. Oh, by the way, I've forgiven Bev for getting angry at me for looking at boobs. That's the way to do it, guys. Bear in mind, we've been walking around for four hours looking for this. Oh. Oh. Cannon has its own building, it's that big. They've not got a bad range of lenses, have they? Out of all these, I've probably got about ten of them. And to be honest, I'll sell it all for a large format camera film as well. I want to play with one of the super duper lenses. We're going to go in and see what I've zoomed on. Now this chap you'll be able to see right down there in the distance. Do you want one, Beverly? No, but can we take him back to Gemma? Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, the more interesting stands here are the smaller, more independent stores. Everyone here knows what Canon and Nikon and Olympus and Panasonic are up to. I'd far rather learn about Leica and Hasselblad than we're on the floor with them now. It's a gigantic Leica stand and Hasselblad over there. Wow, we can have wooden tripods. I want a wooden tripod. This guy's giving me a catalogue. Thank you very much. Now I really can be Peter Lick. Look. I think if you were in a studio and you had one of these, you'd look really stylish, actually. I'm not too sure about taking out on location, though. They did seem just a little bit flimsy, even though they tried to tell me they're not. What was that? What do you want? Night vision goggles. Night vision goggles. This company, Minox, are selling themselves on spy cameras. It's very odd. It looks like to me they're more of a fashion accessory than real spy camera stuff. Because although the cameras look really cool, they're like loads bigger and probably loads more expensive than little pen cameras. Even the Impossible Project has a stand, so let's see what's so impossible about the Impossible Project. Well, good on them for getting Polaroids started again, but they seem pretentious arseholes, this lot. Not only that, I get an email from them about once a week, and they're so expensive. That is the most beautiful camera I've seen here all day. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so at first thought, I thought this was a large format camera, but it's actually a scanner and it scans the image across. This is a much smaller version that takes panoramic 360 degree pictures by turning it around like that. And there's a scanner on the back with a Nikon lens on the front. And we can see the picture developing here as it's going across. So we can move across, you see, like that. It's amazing. Resolution depends on. 
Did I forget to mention this whole place is like a photographic museum as well? We've probably seen 20 different massive photographic exhibitions since we've been here. At Qatar, they're holding a raffle in one minute to see someone wins a bag. We won nothing, although they weren't checking the names on the little ticket, so we could have blagged one. I'm forgetting what I've shown you already. Have you seen this, the world's largest photo globe? You know, Gitso tripods, well, they also do coats. I put my cameras and lenses and memory cards all in it. Babe, should I get out of this coat and go home and get something to eat? Yes. We've been here for seven hours and I feel like we've only seen half the whole thing. We haven't seen the Nikon store yet. So it's time to head into Cologne and get something to eat, then head back to the motel because we're knackered. Did it come across properly how big that place actually was? Let me know in the comments below because I really tried to show you. It's been autobus. That place was so big we needed a bus back to the car park. Oh, I'm knackered. Where's the nearest McDonald's? This is a crazy city, Cologne. We're going to come back here when we've got more time. We're crossing the main river that runs through Cologne. Have a look. Isn't that glorious? I can't believe I used the word glorious in my vlog. This city looks like it's got the potential to be quite romantic. But I wonder if it's got the potential to cure my hunger. I just need a parking space and a Burger King. Well, something vegetarian anyway. We found somewhere to park, it's in the middle of the square as well, we know if it's good or not if we get clamped. It's your choice of restaurant darling, there's loads to choose from. I wonder how near the centre we are, it looks pretty close. Now this is going to be a challenge, we found a pizza place with the entire menus in German. <laughs> Neither Beverly or I speak German but we're going to try our best. I think I managed it. Now what the hell is broccoli anyway? Oh, that was really good. We've got to go back to the motel now. And rather than showing you the whole journey there, I'm going to finish the video up here. It's day 261 of 365. We're in Cologne and the sun's setting. It's been a great day of photography. Yeah! I've got a brand new camera strap that you're totally jealous of. Watch this. Woo! <laughs> Me and Beverly are going to go home now to the motel and I'll see you later. Yeah, so we just no, walk... No, babe, I just want to go back Shut home. Shut up! All I want is a tiramisu. Shut up. No, I just want to go back home.